Hey, pretty gang in the comments. I want to come in and talk to you guys about the most frequently asked questions when it comes to the hair braiding business. Make sure you guys are checking out my Braid Hair for Cash course as well as my YouTube mini course. Start your YouTube channel now, especially all my braiders. So let's jump right into it. The first question that people ask is how much money do braiders actually make? Well, this varies. I can tell you based on my own experience, I used to braid and make 500 or more dollars a weekend. So in four weekends, I made up to or more than $2,000 a month. So I know on my end, it is safe for me to say that braiders can make up to $2,000 or more a month as long as you are strategically braiding hair, having the proper prices, and making sure that you are putting yourself out there and consistently booking and braiding clients. The second most frequently asked question is how to market your braiding business. Well, everywhere, okay? Specifically, if you have a actual location, definitely get on Google. I need you guys to be doing your Facebook marketplace ads. Definitely set your business up on Yelp. Definitely have an Instagram and eh, I don't know depending on what kind of braider you are or what kind of Natural hairstylist you are you might want to get you a YouTube channel as well as a Twitter now the pro tip that I'm gonna give here is inside of your inside of your either website or Social media. I need you to somewhere put braider near insert your location so you might put braider near Asheville North Carolina now what's that gonna do is if people are looking for that inside of their Twitter inside of their Instagram on Google because you have that tag in your social media guess who's gonna come up you are so definitely add braider near a city near you that could be a braider near Charlotte a braider near Los Angeles a braider near Beverly Hills a braider near Orange County a braider a braider near Austin Texas you need to put that inside of your social media so you can continue to get found when people are looking for a braider near your city the next or the third question that I am usually asked is, is it illegal to braid hair without a license? Well, this varies. If your, I said stated, if your state, let's put that, if your state does not require a license, then you are not braiding illegally. But if your state requires a license, yes ma'am, you are braiding illegally and you have, or you may potentially be fined or put on restriction to get your license. So I know in some states they they charge you a fine and they restrict you from getting your from getting your actual license for up to a year. So you definitely want to look into that. The next question is do I need a braiding license to open a braiding shop? Well, you don't need a license you don't need a braiding license to open a shop, but you are going to need to go get your business license and all the permits and all that on the business side of it. But as far as you having a braiding license, you don't need to have a braiding license to own a braiding shop. However, your renters of your booths may need to have a license if your state requires a license to braid hair, okay? And the last but not least, my most favorite question is which states required a braiding license or a, requires a braiding license for to braid hair? Well, I can tell you what states do not require a license. If you do not see your state here, there is some type of license training class course that your state is requiring of you. So here are all the states that do not require a license arizona arkansas california connecticut georgia iowa kansas kentucky i forgot kentucky last time shout out to kentucky maryland michigan mississippi nebraska texas utah virginia and west virginia yes west v so those are the most frequently asked questions and there's another question that i usually get asked you guys 
And this one varies. That's why I didn't really put it here. But a lot of people like to ask. I think it goes along the same thing of how much money you can make. But people tend to ask about what should their prices be. I actually have a prices video. I'll let it slide up here. And then I'll leave it in the description below. Where people ask, you know, what's a suggestion for your prices? Well, my suggestion for you is, one, look at the industry. Go Google some other people in your state. See what they're charging. Number two, what kind of styles do you know how to do? Depending on what kind of styles you know how to do, that should be depending on what your prices should be. You already know if you're going to do one layer cornrows versus box braids, those are two different amounts, right? So if you're, we're talking individuals, box braids, you're looking from somewhere to $75 to $160. If we're talking about cornrows, depending on if we're talking about a kid, designs, hair, no hair. And when I say hair, no hair, I mean adding braided hair, extensions or no extensions. You have to think about that. So you might say, okay, that is going to start somewhere from 45 and up. So your prices are definitely going to be up to you, but you need to pay attention to the industry, what you actually know how to do, and go check out my video on where I give suggestions for how much I believe you should be charging or baseline of where you should be charging. So you guys, I hope that this was helpful, and I'll be talking to you guys later. Bye, you guys.